Aha, hello my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and I thought what we'd do tonight is uh, pop up at nine o'clock just to have a special tribute to Her Majesty the Queen upon her passing. The Queen is dead, long live the King. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our gracious sovereign lady uh, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the Commonwealth and across the world passed away this afternoon at Balmoral in Scotland. Very, very, very sad news, but what a wonderful lady in her 97th year. So I thought to myself, it's time we have a bit of a chat here. So there we go. God bless the Queen. Absolutely, Nathan. Lovely to have you with us and dinky-do. Long live King Charles. Yes, Nathan, that's 100% correct. And I did announce it to the internet just within a few minutes of Buckingham Palace's announcement. So there you are. And you will see that on the TikTok videos. Those of you that are watching on TikTok followers as soon as you come on. Uh, typing is saying he could have had a shave. Well, feel free to go and have a shave, Typing. We don't mind. Absolutely. Lovely to have everybody with us. There we are. So sad about the screen. The Queen, uh, Thomas, thank you very much. Lovely to hear from you as well. A uh, bit of a top man there. God save the King. Thank you, Joel. Absolutely. Uh, long live King Charles, I say to you. Uh, GSTQ, God save the Queen. Bless the Queen. So there we are, passing away at the wonderful ripe age of... Um, 96 and a good bit. So there was, she died of a broken heart. Aaron, it's very interesting that you should say that. I thought she will be missing Prince Philip. So there we are. Uh, sorry to hear about the Queen's passing, says Darren. Uh, will we no longer get a Queen? Yes, you will have a Queen. You will have uh, Camilla as the Queen Consort. So there you are. So you can have that. So there we go. Uh, sorry to hear your Queen passed, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. Sean, very, very much appreciated. You're Queen as well, of course. Everybody's Queen. Scotty, do you believe we should have a vote to get independence to stick with the monarchy? Well, I don't think it's a thing that you would bother going into because the monarchy is apolitical. Independence is political and economic. So there we are. So uh, if we don't stick with the monarchy, then I very much think we will have a serious problem with uh, getting independence. So there we go. Uh, now then, who have we got here? There's Luke. We'll ban Luke. Guys, anybody who puts anything negative about Her Majesty will just get a lifetime ban. So just make sure you're ready for that. There's Luke away down the Swanee for being a half-witted idiot. So there we go. Now... Uh, what have we got here? I'm broken hearted. I didn't realize I would be. No, I understand. I think so many of us are. It's uh, it's it's as simple as that. So there you have it. Now, uh, who have we got here? Uh, commiserations from Ireland. Thank you, Brian. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, Susan. Hi, Scotty. On this sad day. Absolutely, Susan. Just moving you about a tiny bit, guys just so that we can get everything sorted out there. Uh, I think William should have been uh, King Charles is too old. Not at all. You can never be too old. His mother has just proved that. So there we are. You can't actually be too old to be monarch. David and John, God bless her. Yes, I think she died of a broken heart, says the wonderful David. Thank you, David, and dinky do. Now then, who have we got here? Uh, R-I-P-H-R-H, well, Andy, it's not actually H-R-H, it's H-M, Her Majesty. So there we have it. Uh, remember, Scotty says, Scotty Sean, no, apolitical, absolutely had to be Scotty Sean. So you got that wrong? Now, there we go. Who else have we got here? Follow us as soon as you can. R-I-P, Your Majesty, says Brian. Bless you, Brian. Lovely to have you with us tonight on this particularly sad night. And no bonnet tonight, of course, out of respect for Her Majesty the Queen. So there we are. Not that the bonnet is in any way disrespectful, but uh, I think the bare head. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, that's what we've got. Do tell us what you think, guys. 
Sad day, there's a Scottish person letting the whole of Scotland down. Uh, it's called Scottish Yabas, and he's letting the whole of Scotland down very, very badly. Hang your head in shame, Yabas. There we go. That's him. He's gone. Right. Lifetime ban for idiots like that. There we go. Uh, the strongest women in my lifetime. I think that's the whole thing, um, GRC. She was so incredibly, powerfully strong as a human being. And that's what's come across. Absolutely incredible. And Dinky Doo. God rest the Queen. R.I.P. Dinky Doo. Thank you, Anjan Badji. In Toowoomba, down under in Australia. We've got to remember... The Queen was popular the world over in Australia and New Zealand and Canada and all these wonderful parts of the world. So there we go. RIP Queen Elizabeth says Storm. Storm at UK. The end of the second Elizabethan era. Yes, indeed, Brian. Well done. Very good. There we have it. Um, RI Queen, uh, long live Charles. So there we have it. Thank you, JD. So there we go. Now, what else have we got here? Uh, some of the comments are discussing no respect whatsoever. Bit of respect. Absolutely, Big Tommy. And we shall be banning these people for life. The trolls, the wee trolls, the dirty, filthy wee middens that you get always when they don't understand something. So there we are now. Hey, may she live on inside of us, says Bryce. Now, uh, for Scotland to break off from England, uh, yes, I mean, I think that's going to happen through Brexit. That's political. That's nothing to do with the Queen, but we're keeping the Queen anyway. Good evening, Scotty. Some extremely sad news reaching us this evening. Josh, how lovely to hear from you, and thank you. What an absolute top man. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Now, um, I popped up. Uh, b before, I would think, before the mainstream media and announced the Queen's passing to the internet and you can see the video on TikTok, on Scotty's TikTok videos. So get on to these guys and tell us what you think. Absolutely. Hello. Hello, Liam. Good to have you with us. Uh, so there we are. Scotty, Luke says he's sorry and he's asking you to unban him. He didn't know. He's sorry. Well, Glasgow Derby. We can't have people cheeking up on here. Do you know what I mean? So there we are. Time for Scottish independence. Yes, under the, under the crown, though, with King Charles as our head of state. There we are. Uh, she did die of a broken heart, Scotty. There we are. All three prime ministers have had bad luck. Boris with the COVID pandemic, Theresa May with Brexit, and Liz Truss, the last prime minister to meet the Queen. Yes, indeed, uh, two days ago. It's nice to see you making an effort with your dress, Scotty. Well, Streaky, of course, it's a matter of simple manners and respect. One or two people could learn something about that on here. Hi, Scotty. It's John Boy, David's partner. I'm not a royalist by any stretch, but a sad day indeed for the nation. She was a great ambassador for her roles. R.I.P. Your Majesty. Yes, indeed, John. Thank you for that. So there we are. Uh, change of anthem from Queen to King. Yes, there will be. Very poignant, says JD. Absolutely. So there we are. Happened to God saving the Queen. Well, God saved the Queen for almost 97 years. So what about that? That's pretty good. RIP Queen Elizabeth. Hello from Indiana. My sympathies for the loss of the Queen. Rick, how lovely of you from Indiana to come on. And uh, pay your respects. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I say to you. Uh, there we have it here. Uh, I remember when you had hair, says Streaky Bacon. I don't remember that, Streaky Bacon. Your memory is better than mine. Uh, let's get the push for Scottish independence. Yes, but under the crown. Very important. Don't give the silly people your attention. Quite right, Paul. These are half wits. R.I.P. Queen Elizabeth II, a very sad day for the UK and the Commonwealth. There's a guy called John Paul who's talking about his mother on here. No, John, that's too sad. There we are. 
That's it. Now, that's what? That's your own lifestyle. That's nothing to do. Uh, R.I.P. to the best queen we have or ever will have. Sleep well, Your Majesty. William, thank you. Uh, so there we are. God save the queen, says Alex. Yes, indeed. And uh, it's actually the queen is dead. Long live the king. Now, guys, um, on this night tonight, you'll see that the only goal we've set is a cup of tea. So there we are. Uh, no love lost, says Scottish Sean. Another millionaire called out Scottish Sean. I'm so glad I can't think as small as you. So there you are. So a lot of love lost for a lovely, lovely lady who did some fantastic things. There we are. Still working till yesterday. Scotty, me and the Doug are just back from Holyrood House where the flag is flying at half-mast. God save the king. Professor Numptyheed. Good to have you with us. Uh, she's still queen when I was born in 1956, Scotty. Thomas, I think I can just about match you there. I can tell you. There we have it. Scotty, I need to ask you something. Yes, Glasgow Derby. Uh, opinion on the queen dead? I'm very sorry that Her Majesty has died because she was an outstanding ambassador, a wonderful public servant, a delightful lady, uh, but I'm very glad that she's not suffering any more pain. And she's certainly more than done the hard bit, I can't tell you. So there we have it. As a Scottish man, I do not condone the celebration of her death, even as a Celtic fan. There's no, I think we celebrate her life, Derek. I think that's what it's all about. I'm glad uh, she didn't have to face Harry's book coming out. So there went, well, we shall see. Uh, she was 13 when she met Philip. That was right, he was a student at the uh, Royal Naval College at Dartmouth. And uh, he showed her around the college. The world's a better place now. So there we are. Uh, Scottish Sean, I think we'll dump you because you're clearly a halfwit. There we are, a complete and utter halfwit, and your ignorance will uh, will absolutely cause you serious trouble in your life. There we are. We're just going to dump Scottish Sean because he has no understanding of the function of the crown. There we are. Right, she's gone. Fantastic. There we are. End of that. Uh, I hope she was with her husband and mum. Yes, R.I.P. Queen Elizabeth. From Edinburgh, she was indeed the Duchess of Edinburgh, guys. So there we are. So there we go. All good things must come to an end, Scotty. Mrs. Lannery, you are quite right, you know, and uh, she died peacefully. Uh, and that's that's wonderful because uh, our poor old grandfather, my goodness me. Uh, thoughts on the disrespect of social media towards the Queen? So there we are. Well, to be honest with you, Ross, these are half-witted idiots. These are poor souls, poor damaged souls who don't understand what things are about. I mean, the the you know, even the individuals in charge, uh, you know, it, it's not about the people, it's about the crown. And the queen was our curator and custodian of the crown, now in the hands of Prince Charles. So there you are, King Charles. Yes, indeed, he will be proclaimed king very soon and then probably coronated in, I don't know, perhaps a year's time, something like that. So there we are. So I'm afraid disrespect on social media, it, it lets social media down. It's like when you hear people uh, cursing and swearing on social media. Um, that just completely devalues their post. So there we have it. And remember, anybody who says anything against the Queen is just an ignorant fool. Guys, I've only set one goal tonight, and it's to give me cups of tea. You can see it just in the middle of my forehead there. And we've got three hours on it, so thank you. Christopher, thank you for your red roses. Let's uh, dedicate the red roses to the Queen. Scotty, remember we talked about the 1901 death of Queen Victoria? Like two years ago, Prit, I do remember you discussing that with me two years ago. Absolutely outstanding, Prit. And uh, what was fantastic about that, guys, can everybody follow me if you're watching right now? Let's have a massive follow fest for Scotty McClue. 
because this is TikTok's top talk show. So we might as well get used to it. Prince Philip wins for longest lived. Yeah, nearly a hundred dinky do. There we have it. Uh, now, thank you for following us, guys. Uh, the Queen is in heaven about now, says Brains. Absolutely. Uh, I think it'll be t another two days. Gordon says he's a Sassanach bootlicker. You're not, Gordon. I'm sure you're not. So there we are. Remember, uh, the crown is Scottish. So tonight we're commemorating the passing of a Scottish monarch. Yes? Get that into your head. Ding dong. So there we go. Right, Bobby G. Uh, now, who have we got here? Um, God bless the Queen from Trinidad. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Guys, is everybody watching following? And also, have you got on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? Put that into your search engine and come and join us. Uh, Willie Malley, Celtic's longest serving manager. So there we are. Ah, yes, Willie, yes. Uh, now, wash their mouths out with soap and water. Devastated, says David. She was an incredible lady. Absolutely, David. Yes, indeed. I always remember you trying to explain how much the Royal Yacht took more money than it cost. Yes, the Royal Yacht was a fantastic thing. And the government that did that to the Queen, they need to hang their heads in shame for taking the Royal Yacht uh, off the Queen. Uh, OMG, Scotty McClure, I used to sneakily listen to your show every night in bed. Scott FM. At 13 years old, Mega Elliot, you did not. Absolutely incredible. My goodness me. Uh, her mother was a boss line for Scotland. Yes, her mother was 100% Scots, and her father was a descendant of uh, Malcolm II, uh, George VI. There we are. RIP from Texas. Thank you, Texas. There we have it. Uh, do Barnsley lasses? Yes, Jason, they do. Uh, soon to be a King William. Well, not until there's been a King Charles. Uh, so there you have it. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Just joins says Ibula. There we are. Now, what do we got here? Uh, that's what to do with them. Wash their mouths out. Uh, so there we go. I'll just dump this halfwit idiot. There's Ewan, the halfwit, getting dumped for being a halfwit. He'll be a halfwit all his life, actually. That's it. Right. There he goes. Uh, and who else have we got? And DJ Finney, you might as well go down Swanee as well for being another halfway. There we go. Guys, remember, never, ever, ever be anti-monarchist or you're anti-Scots, anti-independence. Yes, indeed, you're letting the side die. Rest in peace, end of an era. Uh, so there you have it. Death is the only truth in life. Death and taxes. I think taxes as well. Uh, so there we have it. R.I.P. Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth. No, R.I.P. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Lee. Not Her Royal Highness. How is the crown Scottish? The crown is Scottish because it took over the English crown in 1603. So there you have it. So the monarchy is a Scottish institution. Uh, didn't Queen Elizabeth uh, the first live to 101? Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, yes, nearly 102. RIP to our Queen. So there we have it. Hello, sir, just wondering, will the school shut at any time for my child? I don't know, Cody. I haven't uh, quite found out about that. Don't you mean German? No. Uh, German descent, as just about everything actually is. That's where you get the English people from. English people are German because they are Anglo-Saxon, from Saxony in Germany. Are you with it? So uh, sorry that you failed on that one. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, she's not from Trinidad, the Queen. No, but uh, she was very much the Queen of the Commonwealth. From the Coldstream Guards, God bless the Queen and may she rest in peace. Barra, I don't have my bonnet on, so I can't salute you. But I thank you very, very much indeed for that. 3,400 likes, guys. Can everybody go tap, tap, tabity, tap, tabity, tabity, tap for the likes? Very important. I've got three cups of tea. 
if you look at the middle of my bald forehead, you'll see that there's cups of tea in the goals. And I've just been sent three cups of tea. I thank you for that. Time for a comfort break. A wee mop down. I'll be back with you in a minute, guys. Woo! Very hot in the studio tonight. I can tell you. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Now, the Royal Family won't need 67 pence a year from me. I'm deducting 65p of it. No, they will do. Uh, there'll always be that tiny, tiny contribution required. So there we have it. Uh, I hope you're all able to see the portrait of Her Majesty behind me tonight. Very important. There we are. Um, I've heard that uh, all sports will be cancelled at the weekend. I think Your Majesty wanted to die in Balmoral in Scotland, Scotty. Well, Thomas, I wouldn't be surprised. There we are. James the Seventh of Scotland was Elizabeth's cousin, inherited the English throne when she died. I've never had so much rubbish in my life. James the Sixth of Scotland was Mary Queen of Scots' son. Yes, so there you have it. That's the way to look at that. Is this Outlander? <laughs> now, Big Jimmy, is this the Gavin Channel? Uh, Scotty, a sad day for our nation. How do you feel about the Queen marrying her cousin? I think that's excellent. Yes, there's no problem. You can marry your first cousin. Susan has just sent me a cup of tea. You're very, very kind, Susan. I thank you. We have four cups of tea. God bless the Queen from Northern Ireland. Absolutely, Willie. No better occasion for Scottish independence, yes. But remember, Scottish independence will only happen under the crown. So King Charles, the future King Charles, no, the present King Charles, will be our head of state. Yes, our sovereign gentleman. So there we have it. Now then, anyone got a problem with me, says this guy, Anthony. Um, I, I don't know Anthony. Uh, no, there's Michael being very low life. She was a tax dodger. She actually wasn't. She just paid 97 million in tax. So you can stick that round you, Michael. There we are. RIP Queen Elizabeth II, a great leader, the great heart. You're absolutely right, you know, you're a hundred percent. How fantastic is that? Shout out, uh, says Mitch from Norway. Mitch, I don't believe you're from Norway. And I don't think you have any friends called that at all. I think you're such a half-witted idiot, you should leave us for life. Bye-bye. Uh, we are lifetime banned for a half-wit. That's him gone. Now then, who else have we got? Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky, do. And um, there's Blair following. Everybody should be following. Thoughts on the £2,500 price cap? Well, not really the night to discuss it, but um, I think it's a great thing. You know, absolutely, because that will just mean our bills will be about another grand to 500 more. The Queen Mother was Scottish. She was indeed 100%. And um, Lady uh, Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Boslein. Uh, Professor Numpty Heed, is the host pipe band still on, Scotty? I want to fill the pool with fresh, warm water. Yes, Numpty Heed, so I believe. Susan has just sent me three pounds on the TikTok. Susan, you are very, very kind. Also, a lot of people on the YouTube, Susan has sent the three pounds. A lot of beautiful, generous people on the TikTok have sent me a cup of tea. The little goal in the middle of the forehead. And there's Caroline sending me red roses. Uh, take the bonnet off, must be serious. Well, Garth, the Queen has died. Out of respect, you take your cap off. There we have it. She was a beacon of light in all. Bless her. R.I.P. Our beautiful queen, says Lindy Lou. She was a calming force for a lot of us non-British. Yes, indeed. Monarchs should be abolished. No, they shouldn't, Sam the caveman, because they are the glue that keeps the world turning. Prince Albert, Queen Victoria's late husband, wanted to have the world ruled by crowned heads in Europe. 25th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. Uh, just got overshadowed. Yes, Faco is sending me beautiful red roses. Faco, I thank you. Did you ever meet the Queen? I didn't. 
No, I haven't met the Queen. Uh, God rest our Queen from the Milton of Campsy. Good evening, Sir Scotty. My heartfelt condolences. Gideon, I thank you, sir. Um, up the Royal Artillery, says Vas Gran. Vas Gran, the Royal Artillery will be just as upset as the rest of the regiments in the British Army, but thank you for uh, representing the Royal Artillery. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, Wing of Darth, there's another lie. So there we are, Wing of Darth, uh, or Wingo Darth is uh, telling a whopper. Uh, she's the last Queen of England. No, I think there, uh, well, there will be another Queen of England right away as a Queen Consort. Camilla will be the Queen. Um, do you have anything valuable to say about this, Scotty? Of course I do. H7, Opolo. But uh, I, I want to, um, you know, take people's comments. Uh, so there we have it. Now, um, who have we got here? How will Charles be Scotland's head of state if we go independent? Well, we won't get to go independent if we don't have Charles as head of state because you'll lose 50% of the vote as you did in 2014 by the loyalists. So you want to include everyone. So if you make it quite clear that Charles will be the head of state, then everybody can vote with a clear conscience. There we have it. So it's the union we want to go, the political union. We don't want to lose our monarch. Uh, R.I.P. ma'am, you served the country well. It was a pleasure to serve you from a military veteran. Jim, we salute you and thank you for your service. I met C. James the Sixth and first mixed him up with his successor. Brian, I've got you now. Yes, James the Sixth, the son of Mary, Queen of Scots. Thank you for your respect, says Skyfall. I thank you, Skyfall. Has everybody watching on TikTok followed Scotty McClure. You go to the top left, click the plus sign and follow. Let's have a follow fest right now and I shall sip my Scottish water while we are having a follow fest. That's lush. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, TikTok's top talk show host, and we are also live on the YouTube channel. If anybody would like to phone in, the lines are open. The number is 0141 628 Discopete, I thank you. If anybody's feeling generous, in the middle of my forehead on TikTok, you will see cups of tea. If you would like to send me some cups of tea, that would be wonderful. Even one cup of tea, save me getting too thirsty. There we have it. Proud Scots soldier, I took a shilling. So there we are. Thank you, Faco and Adam, for sending me cups of tea. You are very, very generous. I met Philip. He was class. Well, he was actually, I can remember. Uh, he had a fantastic night. He was the colonel of the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders and had some fantastic nights with them. All my family were around me. I could hear them weep, says Stephen. Uh, so there we are. And then I turned away and walked with my angel guide. Uh, Philip held my hand as he led the way to a world where kings and queens are monarchs every day. I was given a crown to wear and a halo known by some. The difference is up here. They're worn by everyone. The newscasters had black ties on before the panels announced the death of Her Majesty. Did they know beforehand? Well, I think she went late in the afternoon. And I think uh, something quite sudden must have happened. It will all come out. Tonight's not really the night to discuss um, medical matters and Her Majesty the Queen. She was well respected all over the world, Her Majesty, says Thomas. I thank you, Thomas. So there we are. But Scotty McClure announced it just after Buckingham Palace did. Um, there was a half-witted idiot on earlier saying, why is he announcing it? For it's been all over the MSM. It wasn't all over the MSM when I announced it. So there you have it, folks. Uh, we like to keep you all up to date. We turned Scotty McClure up with the Royal Artillery. 
says Wings of Gold Darth. Uh, thank you for that. All prayers for the Queen from Bexley in London. We thank you very, very much. I left work early, says Faco. I could not contain my tears. Bless you, Faco. You believe in an independent Scotland from the royal family? Of course you make. We need to have the royal family as head of state. Well, the monarch as head of state for Scotland. So there we have it. Now, here we got, we'll just get, I'm just going to dump this wee guy here. There we go. Just dump a couple of trolls, guys, down the swanee for life. Finished. They're finished. There we have it. I got a coin with the Queen's head on it. it says automated. How will Charles be Scotland's head of state? Well, he will be, or we won't get independence. Will Prince Charles be king now? He already is king. The Queen is dead. Long live the king. Uh, so there, she sent letters to congratulate on my son's birthday, says Fackle. Uh, I'm in Ireland. Rest in peace. Uh, so there we are. Now, who else have we got? Ray, thank you for your beautiful cups of tea. You're very, very kind. There's Ray, one of the most generous men in the planet. And he's just sent me some cups of tea on the TikTok. Here, we've got a call, guys. <laughs> You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David. How are you, Scotty? You David, right? my boy. How are you, sir? I'm all right. Just say it's been, I was watching the news a, a way back from today, you know. Now, Scotty, do you know how do you know our, our, our ancestors, don't you? Is that correct? Yes, yes, of them? course. Of course. Right, Look, going mean, right the way know, back. Right. Uh, can I say one? I'm about to say it. Well, well, yes, well, go on. Right, Lady Colin Campbell. No, well, I, that's a different setup, so we'll not talk about that one, David. Right, that, right. That's, well, that's, actually, that's actually a different setup, if you see what I mean. Is that? Yes, do you so know what, who that is, but do you know yes, what Yes, yes, I know exactly who you're talking about, but we'll not discuss her on here tonight. That's okay with you. I understand that, you know. Yes. Anyway, it's just been a sad day, okay? A very sad day, David. How are you doing? I, I'm okay, son, you know. I just like, do you like to give me the lovely black clothes on for respect? Oh, you know well, what I mean? a wee bit of respect, David. It's not too much to ask, really, is it, in a no, day like today? No, not at all. No, 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 no. no. I mean, we saw on Monday uh, shaking the new Prime Minister's hand. Yes. She did look really, she looked really frail. Well, she did, and I uh, looked at her hands close up last night. Yeah, yeah. And they were very bad. bruised. <laughs> so the big bruise. I yes. would imagine she'd maybe been having some sort of infusion or transfusion. Yes, that's correct, Scotty, right, you know what I mean? And I mean, they were saying on the news they had doctors since like 1976 in Buckingham Palace. They've got their own special doctors. And oh, yes, there's a, there's a wee hospital. There you go. It was in Buckingham Palace that of the Queen's father's lung when he had lung cancer. Oh, there you go. See, you know everything that I don't know. Right, that's clever. Do you know what I mean? See, see, yes, that's right. So there's a wee hospital there eh, and what right. have you. But you've got to remember, Her Majesty was in her 97th year. Oh, I, 97th. Uh-huh. Uh, I know, son, you know and, what I mean? And until so, yesterday was still working. I, I know. That's you know? right, yes. Right to the end. Right you know to I mean? the end, you know? you know, I mean, absolutely incredible. Yeah, so Scotty, are they going to, going to bring a, 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 a lovely body back to Buckingham Palace tomorrow, is that right? Uh, they, they may well do, yes. Um, I don't know what the format is, what's going to happen, but um, I would imagine they will take her back down south. But, yeah, the, yeah, but the lovely right. thing uh, is I, that she passed away in Scotland. That's correct, of course, yes, Aberdeenshire, yes. That's our favourite oh, house yeah, up yeah, in yes. Royal Deeside there, you know. Yeah, of course, you know. So, now it's got it, so, he, because uh, her money, her face is on other money, so it's going to be new money with the king. No, there money. will be new and money, the there future. will be new stamps, uh, new there stamps. will be all of that, yes. And uh, right. King Charles, King Charles III will ascend the right. throne. 
The anthem will have to change so it will be God save the king. But then it always right. was until it was the queen. Right, uh -huh. So it's got, it's got to be a complete different tune now, is that correct? Uh, no, I think it'll be exactly the same tune because the tune was composed by Handel. Okay, right. And all right, the great Handel, music. Right, so yeah. Handel, the water music, the music for the uh -huh. Royal Fireworks, Handel's Messiah, the Oratorio. Right. You know, all these wonderful things. Handel's uh, Israel in Egypt. Yeah, wow. You, you know see? what I mean? That's amazing, isn't it? You know what I mean? You know. All these things. And and I can tell you, you know, Thine Be the Glory, the great hymn tune. You know, yeah, I guess I can, you know Thine Be the Glory, the great hymn tune. Right, no, I don't know what you know. Yes, yeah, it goes, Thine be the glory, risen conquering sun. Uh, yes, so right that well, that's you know actually I mean? <laughs> written by Handel. Now it's not I terribly know, right? romantic because it was written as "Hail the Conquering Hero," and it yeah. was for the return of William, Duke of Cumberland, to Edinburgh. And he was yeah, not exactly yeah. uh, he was not exactly a man for the Jacobites. Right, right. I see. You see? Of course. So there's all yeah, there's all that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, do you like my, yeah. do you like the portrait behind me tonight, Dave? Yeah, I see the Queen's right there. Yes. yes. I can see the Queen yes. right next to your photo. I yeah. thought that was that important. Was just, that was cropped tonight, yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. That was put up for the show tonight. That's good, that's good, my friend. You know what I mean? Out of respect. Honestly, you know. Out of respect, baby. And I'm so glad yeah. you phoned in. That was great to hear you. Of course, I'm waiting for your call this morning. Come on, Well, they might do. The only thing is, I don't have the number up in front of me, as you see. I know, but all these people know your number. Well, I know your number. Davey, you know, Scottish, so listen. I'll let you, I'll, it's a good call. I'll let you go. I'll well, Davey, okay. Davey, we managed 30 years on the radio without anybody seeing the number. Exactly. <laughs> You know, but anyway, it's been a it's been a strange night. But anyway, the Queen would like people to laugh and be happy. Right? Absolutely, you know? she would indeed. A celebration of her life. Exactly, that's going to be the thing. You know what yes, I mean? You know? Absolutely, Davy. Lovely to hear you and thank you, you too. Thank you, you, my Dinky friend. Dinky thank you, you Scott. Dear sir, bless Bye. you. God save you. I say to you, there we are. What a marvelous man. Uh, that's Davy on the phone there. Fantastic. Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scottish. Ah, Kareem, thank God that you've phoned, my boy. <laughs> oh, what a... I wish it was in better, um, better terms, Scotty. Absolutely. But having said that, I am so glad that she's not suffering any more pain. I, when I heard the news earlier on, I was in work and I thought that... Something doesn't sound right oh. about that, the, the statement that was given out earlier on. And I thought, I bet you she's she's on her way out. I, I take that. Well, I got, I got told in the afternoon and somebody <clears throat> said, oh, my goodness, I wonder if the Queen's died. And we had a look and no, there was nothing except that they were very concerned about her health. Yeah, I, I, I think they've probably given time for the, the men, but the royal family. Yeah. The, to attend and to get their heads around what's happened before they, you know, share it around for the, the rest of the world. That would make absolute sense. But I'll tell you what I don't hold with is these disgusting people cheeking up mm. about her on social media. I, I think... You know, I, if you, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Yeah, I, I've seen some of the, the fun, the, well, the pictures are up, the memes, whatever you call them, already. Uh, and I thought, wow, she's just passed away and they're already doing their round yes, on Facebook and other things. However, we I can know. ignore these people because Father forgive them for they know not what they do. <laughs> well, I, I, think, I, I think we should all think and reflect in the coming, I think it's the, is it the 10 days, the D10, D1 yes. to up to 10. Um, and I think regardless whether you like the royal family or the queen, you can certainly learn one or two things from her, what she's done over the years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and 
the, 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 in terms of principle. I mean, when you speak to lots of people when they see the meter or know her, that she has a sense of humour. Mm-hmm. You know, she has such pride. She has a caring uh, side to her as well. There's just so much things, and people will have their own. Um, they'll have a moment to sit and think and reflect. I mean, I've had friends calling from around the world, from Sweden and Bulgaria, you know, finding out what's happened, what's, what's going on. So um, it's, it's a sad, sad day. However, I, I think it's going to be very tough. Uh, and I think people seem to forget, because I've read into what's going to happen within the next 10 days. The King Charles now, the fort... Well, before, Karim, have... before you tell us this, I've got to share this with you. Here's a guy yeah. called Gus, and he says, is it true she was only Queen of England, not Scotland? Now, that's the level of ignorance we're dealing with. I mean, she was the mm-hmm. Queen of Britain, which is, at the moment, four countries. Yes, I, I think that's something the, BB, well, not the, the, the media is going to have to uh, remember and respect, because yes. I've heard a few times saying that she's the Queen of the country. Well, what country? You know, she's Queen of quite a few countries. Yes. Um, you know, and, and well, fifty-three you know, in the Commonwealth, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. So I think some people need to, you know, do the homework. But I, I was saying it about um, King Charles III that he has to now visit uh, certain locations down in Scotland and England and Northern Ireland just to for condolences. And I think, you think about that, Scotty, if that was your mother that's just passed away and you're having to go on duty yeah. to... to, to uh, 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 oh, yes. Be, uh, it, it would be shock, and even when within the next ten days, when he will be, you know, in the ceremony being uh, made king, that must be. Good. I can imagine standing in front of everyone, and and just there'll be joy that he's he is king, but knowing uh, there'll be tears, and I'm sure they'll see. Well, it's tears always from. very very tough for somebody there mourning the death of their parent and then realising that they are the next king or next queen. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, the poor uh, queen, when she heard heard her father had died, she was almost as far as you could get from communications. She was at treetops Uh, in uh, Kenya. Oh, God, right. Yes, and, and it was Prince Philip got told, and then he had to break the news to her, and then they had to fly back. Uh, can you imagine what must have been going through her mind at that time? Yes, and uh, they had to get uh, Bobo McDonald to bring her a black dress and go on the plane so she could change to come off the plane in mourning. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy here, Karim. Uh, does Balmoral have a helicopter pad? Jeff, you could land a thousand helicopters at Balmoral. Yeah. <laughs> As far as I know what I've read, she is actually, I think it's beautiful and I think it's sticking up two fingers to the people up in Scotland that mock the monarchy and the Queen that she chose to pass away in Scotland and a fine, fine, fine grounds. And the next day or two, she will be, I think tomorrow or the day after, she'll be making her way to Edinburgh uh, to, to stay there for a day, but she'll be passing through many towns on their way to Scotland. I think that's an opportunity, and I think people will show their face. I think people in Edinburgh, where she'll be, uh, I can't remember the place where they're going to keep her um, overnight, I think many people will be there to, to show their respects. And yes. they are down uh, south at the moment at Buckingham Palace. Yes, absolutely. Well, we'll find out all of that detail. Uh, yes. You know, what's actually going on there. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, you see, here's another half-witted idiot. R.I.P. Queen of Germany. Now, how stupid is he? Do you know what I mean? Not a clue. Well, Scotty, I think it's going to see as the days go ahead within D1, D2, etc. We're going to see a lot more of these idiots mm-hmm. making more and more comments. Half-witted and, idiots. And, Here's another yeah. lovely one just after the rest easy, ma'am. Your duty is done. Safe in the arms of Jesus. Absolutely. She's done it. I mean, could you, Scotty, she met the Prime Minister two days ago. Yes. Two days ago, still two working, days. ill as she was, and still, you know, fighting. And, and in the picture, I mean, who would have thought two days later she'd have passed away? Nobody. 
to the fiesta. Absolutely incredible. Thoughts on the Queen's tragic passing, says Derek. That's people just joining us, of course. God save the Queen. And there yeah. we are. Lovely, lovely. A lot of people from Ireland very, very upset as well. Lots of tricklers and things like that. There's up the Royal Artillery, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, what have you. Looking smart there, fella. Much respect on this sad day, says Antique. Uh, there we have it. So all good stuff, I say to you. I'm, 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 I'm happy and I'm proud that she had comfort in Scotland and Bamoro for the, the last, I think she's been up for about three, four weeks. She's been up for quite a while um, resting. And normally she should be down uh, in Buckingham Palace. Or, and I just feel that, you know, just to say whether it was her decision, or I'd imagine it would be the, the, the Queen's decision that I, if my time's going to be, I, I want it at tomorrow. And you think of the grounds up there, Scotty, and the scenery. And oh, fantastic. Peaceful, I, I so can peaceful. remember when I was working for Grampian Television in Aberdeen, uh, yeah. we did a, a charity afternoon for children with special needs. And right. uh, one of the airlines uh, donated a Fokker Friendship aircraft for the afternoon. And we got permission to overfly Balmoral. And I was yeah. invited on to the flight deck just at the moment we overflew Balmoral. And it was incredible to see it from the bird's eye view, you know. Yes, absolutely beautiful. I've had, I've, um, I've had a look around at, uh, on Google Maps just to do my nose, just to see. And it's just everything about there. It's just peaceful, so peaceful. Uh, and, you know, um, like, there's always a fault when you drive passed in the motorway down the road. <laughs> Do you know that um, Balmoral really only became a royal residence in 1854? Ah, right, okay. You know, it got right. remodelled, it got rebuilt in 1854. So um, just uh, a couple of years before I was born, it was 100 years old. Wow. Victoria right. and Albert fell in love with Scotland when they visited Lord Campbell of Bredalbin, the Earl of Bredalbin, <laughs> At Teamouth Castle, um, you know, over near Aberfeldy. All right. And Bredalbin um, at that time, they don't know, but owned as far as you could see. Uh, so all the mountains and uh, Teamouth, it was so beautiful. I think it was built about 1815. And uh, they, they fell in love with Scotland at that time and wanted a Scottish home. And they bought um, not a terribly big place. And it was enlarged and became Balmoral in 1855. All right. Amazing. I want, Scotty, with regards to the coins, they'll have to be changed soon, won't they? Yes, just looking at yes there will be there. new coins coming out. Well, there always have been. I mean, uh, I used to have uh, Victorian pennies. Uh -huh. And I even uh -huh. had a George the Third penny. Uh -huh. Some do stole them. Some of my coins to remember the Queen. Before uh, King Charles the First face appears on on the ten p's and the pound coins, etc. Absolutely, Karim. Lovely yeah. to hear you, and thanks for your call. As always, appreciated. Scotty, I'll speak to you on Saturday, and thank you, dude. And I'm so thank glad you. we spoke on this particular night. Thanks, you. Me too, Scotty. Great, great. Thank you for doing this as well. I think it's outstanding and um, much appreciated by everybody. Thank well, you. Thank you, do, sir. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, Kareem. What a fine fellow. There we are. That's our Kareem. And always a great call. Here's David saying not everyone uh, liked the Queen or royalty. Well, I don't know anybody that didn't. So there you have it. Old River Pirate, you've been at the drink too much. So there we go. Now let's get rid of this bye-bye ranger. How dear he, what a low life. There we are. He's got two followers. Fantastic. Abolish the monarchy. No, that will never happen, the shape, uh, because we uh, have the crown as our symbol of authority. If you're watching TikTok right now, follow Scotty McClure as soon as you can. The TikTok videos are there for you. And dink you do, RIP the Queen. We're all going to miss her. Says Taylor, Taylor and how? I can't say to you, you are 100% correct. Right, can everybody follow Scotty McClure on TikTok as soon as you possibly can? Um, hi, my lovely, hi, TikTok, Julie Dinky Do. There we go. Uh, how are you keeping? Fantastic. 
If you need a moderator, I'd love to help you. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. But we, it's, they're really just poor souls who are clueless about anything. Uh, anybody that cheeks up about the Queen is an idiot. There we are. Thank you for my cups of tea. Guys, I've got 11 cups of tea. If you look at the middle of my forehead, do you see we set the cups of tea? That's all McClue wants is a cup of tea. There we have. Now, uh, what do we got here? Scotland mourns a true lady, and we can all learn something from our Queen. Thank you, Kareem. Um, I think William would make a better king than Charles. It's public knowledge you now wanted to be king. Uh, Phil, it's not public knowledge at all. We know nothing of that. So there you have it. Now, uh, did we get rid of Old River Pirate? I think we did. Let's do it. Old River Pirate is no more. He's doing the Swanee with the other idiots. There we are. Fantastic. Right, keep up the good work. Fantastic. Thank you very much. The Dinky Doo Guy, DJ Flash. So there we have it. Um, thoughts on price? What's on price? I don't know what you mean by that. A very sad day. Disappointing and shocking. The laughter of the Queen's death. Well, at Phil, I don't think there's been any laughter. So there we have Dinky Doo. Um, who else have we got here? Abolish the monarchy. That will never happen, Jay, because nobody wants it. You're all saying, God save the Queen, God save the King. So there we have it. Now, what else have we got? Uh, God save the King, Dinky Do. Scottish view, fantastic. Touche, you got it right on the dot. The Queen remained the sovereign leader of 15 nations. She had a good inning, says Tweet Tweet. That's true, Tweet Tweet. You're right there. Queen had a difficult job for such a long time. She inspires me daily. So there we have it. Um, we're celebrating in that. No, you're commemorating in Ireland, Fionn, right? The Irish adored Queen Elizabeth, absolutely loved her. And she was very, very popular all over Ireland. I want nothing more than independence, a privilege to have it as queen. Well, don't worry, Blair, because uh, King Charles will be the head of state for Scotland when we become independent. My goodness, I absolutely love the queen. I didn't know she had passed. It's a privilege to be in Scotland. If they Irish hate their all family so much, maybe they should look at some of their bloodlines. Oh, absolutely. What they don't understand is that Arthur Griffith, the, um, the head of the... Um, the head of the Brotherhood was uh, a huge monarchist. Yes, a huge monarchist. Uh, the House of saxe coburg Gothash is German. Uh, well, English people are German, remember, Jackie? The, the saxe coburgs and um, the... Um... Oh, I'm just sorry. I'm just reading something here. Yes, absolutely. And the Anglo-Saxons. So there we have it. Um, now, what do we got here? Benjamin says, have your own opinion. No, Benjamin, I'm just giving you facts. I don't do opinion. There we have it. Up the International Royal Artillery. It's just the Royal Artillery, you would say. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't say international. It's just part of the British Army. Fantastic. Right, that's that. Uh, what else have we got here? She wanted Scotland to be England. No, she didn't. Uh, there we are. Uh, the member of the monarch is the British monarch. Okay, the British monarch. Guys, have you all followed me? Has everybody followed Scotty McClue? I ask you. There we are. Very, very important. Get following as soon as you possibly can. Now then, who else have we got here? R.I.P. man. Reflections on the Queen's life, Scotty. Well, Danny... An outstanding life of service to four beautiful countries. Yes, well, to 50 beautiful countries. 54, is it? Now we got here. I'm sorry, I was only asking, no need to call me ignorant. Well, Gus, maybe you were ignorant. My mother loved the Queen and had the same birthday. So there we are. Thank you, Patrick. R.I.P. Your Royal Majesty. Just 
Your Majesty, Scott. No problem at all. Where have we got here? Hello, you're live on Scottish Funnin. Who's that? It's me, myself, and guys. Ah, Professor. Numpties. Professor Numpteed. Uh, what do you think about mm -hmm. McClure doing a royal special? Well, I thought you would because you done one for uh, HRH Prince Philip. I did indeed. Yeah. See, what's happened to your hair? Somebody's asking. It's fallen forward. Aye. Now, now Scott, I've been thinking a couple of questions in the wee chat window, but you've not seen them. One of them was, does any titles pass to any wee judge? Eh, uh, now wait, does it? Well, it depends what they want to do, because the title Prince of Wales will be coming up soon. And no, George... does that not pass to any William? Eh, uh, oh yes, it would do. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm, I'm skipping a generation here. Yes, you're quite right. Yes, no, that would pass to William. So, William will have to give up his title. What's the Cambridge? No, no, you can stay. You can keep all the titles. You see, uh, Charles is now King Charles III when he's proclaimed. Aye. And he's also the Duke of Rothsey. He's the Lord of the Isles. He's the Earl of Chester. He's Baron Renfrew. And uh, there's something to Cornwall. Cornwall. Yeah, so, uh, he's the Duke of Cornwall as well. So you've got all that. Terrible. Well, apart from that, apart from that now, Scotty, does that mean we're going to get a seat on the back of the King's shillings? Uh, in the front. You know, we're going to get new, new King's shillings coming out soon. Yes, yes, the King's. Are you going to take the King's shilling? Are you going to serve? And the King's pound? Yes, absolutely. There's uh, a half wit, there's a half wit, hang on, work. we've got a half wit called Fionn here, and Fionn has got her brain taken out, so we'll just put Fionn away with the dafties, there we go, right. fantastic, right. Scott, you seen that portrait of the Queen you put in the back? Yes. Was that a present for the big house when you were leaving? Oh, very funny. Did you, did yeah. you steal it at the Governor's office? <laughs> 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 we're not, we don't all time have time your lifestyle. You. I'll tell you anyway. Listen, I'm going to go because if I don't go, I can't come back and I'm looking forward to Saturday already. I think you should go and up to eat. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Right, see you bye. Ta-da, la-la. There we are. That's your up to eat. Fantastic stuff. What a great show tonight, guys. I'm just so glad we did it. Duke of Cornwall, that's it. So Charlie's still Prince of Wales. Yes, he is. But uh, I don't think you would stay Prince of Wales once you become... King, how do we call in? You ring us up on 0141 628 A life of selfless service. Current politicians should take note. Bob's beard, you're right. Has everybody followed Scotty McClue on TikTok? And have you all subscribed on YouTube? Get on with that, I say to you. There we are. She loved Scotland. I get people of different views, but I don't understand the aggression. No, I don't understand the aggression either. Certainly, when it comes to Queen Elizabeth, there's never any need for aggression. I think I see a young portrait of Scotty beside the Queen. Oh, Brian. Yes, keep it to yourself. Uh, so there we have it, dinky-doo. Now, what do you think of... Um, I don't know what that is. So there you have it. Hang on a second, guys. I'm just getting... That's better. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, had a name change at the outset of World War Two. No, no, J.D. Donnelly. Name change at the outset of World War One. All right. See, people don't know the facts. That's the problem. God save the Queen and God bless her soul. Scotty. So there we are. Dinky do. There we have it. Lovely specs. Yes, indeed. There we are. They were quite something, these specs, in their day, I can tell you. Now, what else have we got here, guys? Lovely. I'm just going for the big one. Wonderful stuff. What a great time uh, tonight, guys, with you beautiful people. I just wanted to get the opinion of ordinary folk. The House of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, the name changed to Windsor, sounded less German. Jackie, we know all this. Prince Albert's name was Albert of Saxe, Coburg 
Gotha. Yes? But then we also know that Prince Philip was not a Greek. He was Danish. Yes? So we've got all of that. We know that this country was in the hands of Romans. So what point are you making? There we are. I imagine are crossing the river uh, and meeting Prince Philip. So there we have it. We love it. Uh, I might change my name. You could. You can change your name any time. Absolutely. Dinky do. Right, guys. Uh, we're going to have to dash from the TikTok. I thank you. What a fabulous TikTok tonight. 